Hi, we're back. Video number two, the tutorial on managing your email. Now, in this example video, we're using the website myorac.com, but for you, it will be the name of your website um, for all the examples. Now, in the previous video, we talked about cPanel and how you can create uh, how you can create. Uh, your email account and manage your email account in cPanel. This lesson is going to be more about the webmail function of that. But again, we're in cPanel now. And we'll just go to email accounts. And you've got to have email accounts already set up. Now, you can ask your webmaster to do this for you if you want. Um, or just watch the first video. And I, sh I showed you how to create an email account easily. And... You'll see a list of all the email accounts you've got set up here. You can also access the webmail from the cPanel by pressing check email. You might have to press that allow button. That takes you to this webmail portal. Now from here, you can. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things that you can get into as well, like calendars and things like that. But we're going to use Roundcube now and this is part of webmail and from here we can read emails that we've received and we can also send them all right now i'm going to show you another way to log into webmail as well so here we we go back to our test site in this one it's my orac so for you it'd be your website.com or whatever and then type forward slash webmail and press return and then all you'll need to know is your email address and password um, so I've already um, written that down for my ORAC um, there it is there and I'm using a password wallet to put in my username and password and press login and that's an alternative way to log into the webmail as I said once you're in webmail you can see messages that have been sent to you and you can um, also send them if you press compose here um, just put in the name of the person that you're sending to and the subject so um, for instance I'll send to a, a hotmail address so I'll send a first test message here say test message Friday and you can put in um, a message here if you want to test it and attach files now you can drag and drop files here um, let's see if I can find a, a test file to drag and drop there's a picture of a car so I'll just drag and drop just move these folders away so you can see this a bit better there's a photo of a car and I'll drag that onto there and then all I need to do is press send and that message has now been sent all right, now you've got your contacts up here and it's a good idea to add people's names and emails to your contacts list. And um, you can sync this up with your computer as well. I'll show you that in future videos. Um, but here's where you have a list of all the contacts um, and their email addresses so that you can easily send them emails. You've got a calendar there as well and um, other settings and things we're going to get more into um, the the settings soon I just want to show you a couple more things when you compose an email um, people often wonder what the CC is and also what the BCC is so we're going to talk about that so I'm going to send another test message to um, Brown Craig and we're going to CC um, some other people. Now, um, let me just think about this. I'll just put this video on pause while I set up the next part for you. All right, so I've put in a CC address and also a BCC address and a subject testing the CC and BCC. And I'll send this out. I'll, again, I'll drop in a, another attachment, photo of a car and type in hello and we will press send and send that one all right now 
while that's sending, we'll just have a look. Now, we've only got one email in our inbox at the moment. Let's just have a look at that. And these are the settings that we'll use. Um, I don't want to confuse you too much, but if you want to connect your email to your computer or to Gmail or Outlook or what have you, um, you'll just need these settings plus your password. But let's not get too, too much into that. That'll be in a future video, but that's all just explaining if you see that in your inbox. Um, let's go and check our other email now. All right, now I'm in my Hotmail account, which was the main one I sent it to. And here's the first test message. And notice it went into junk email. That's because I don't have test at my .com in my contacts list. Let's have a look at that email. Uh, there's an attachment there. We can see the picture of the car. So we got that one. And then the other one, the BCC, this message was moved. I'll just put in it's not spam. And then I can have a look in my inbox. All right, so there's the picture of the car. And I can see it was sent to myself and also do design well at Gmail. But I can't see that it was sent to that third person um, that was on the on the CCC list so if we just have a look at that I can't see here where um, I've received the email brown.craig I can't see the person on the blind carbon copy alright and if we were to look at the blind carbon copy one too they wouldn't be able to see these people on the list as well so CC is good Basically, carbon copy is good if you want to include everyone on a list and everyone knows each other. But BCC, blind carbon copy, this is very useful if you're setting out to lists of people that don't know each other and they want to keep their privacy because they don't want to be on a list with all these emails they've never seen before. That's how spam happens. And so BCC is quite an important feature um, for you and everyone that you communicate with on email to protect everyone from getting spammed too much. Alright, so that's why that's there. Just back in um, Hotmail, just respond to that one from my Hotmail address. And if we go back to our inbox, we should see... Um, something come in soon for that all right so we're going to look at signatures as well so there's the response that's come back so now we can see in our inbox we've got two emails and one is the thanks for the car pick all right so um what we're going to do now is just click on settings and click on identities and set up a signature so we could put the name, put in a name here. Display name, there you can put in the organization um, as well as a reply to email. If it's different to that, I don't see why you, you would ever do that, but um, you might have no reply for, for whatever reason, but um, generally that would be the same. And the signature. So, something like that. So, you can get more involved with the signature and how it looks. For instance, you can make an HTML signature and then you've got more control over making things bold or um, even the color, things like that. And if you want to get into it, um, that functions there if you, if you click on HTML. And then that signature will always be in there when, when you compose mail. So if we compose the new email, um, we can see it's there. Now, you can see the editor type's plain text. That's why that color hasn't come through. If we change that to HTML, we'll see that there's that red color that we added there before. So that's how signatures work. 
and let's just go back to the top there now you can also create uh, folders here and folders are useful for storing your email and uh, organizing it down on this gear wheel on the bottom left we can click manage folders and here we can see sent junk trash archive junk here we can make a new folder maybe call it tax and keep it at the top level unless you want to put it under one of those um, parent headings but otherwise keep it at the top level and press save and now we've got a new tax folder and we can drag messages into there if we want um, or we could do one called cars and save that folder so if we click on the top left and go back to the top um, we could drag this folder for instance into the cars folder and now instead of being in the inbox we've got a folder here called cars and we can see that message in there okay so that's how the folders work and we already talked about contacts but let's just create one here you'd put in their first name and their last name you can add fields if you want and of course their email address and then press save and now you've got a save contact called first last or if you want to change their name edit the contact and press save and now it's Tom Evans with the email address and that's how you manage the contacts all right, so this is the basic rundown on webmail. If you've got more questions, leave them in the comments and we'll try and help out. Um, or just contact us directly. If, you're, if we're managing your account, we can sort all of this out for you as well. Thanks for watching and lesson three coming up, how to use email clients to send and receive. So we'll be connecting this email account. At the moment, we're using webmail to access your email and showing you how all of that works and um, the way it connects just on a technical level it's IMAP rather than POP which means when, when you delete something it's gone, gone for good um, in terms of if you delete any of your emails so in future videos we're going to discuss backing up or connecting um, an account to your computer um, email client and backing up your emails locally. Um, anyway, that's in the videos to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.